dwarfism. When I saw this word, like when I saw this video that was coming out, I was like, what the fuck is dwarfism? Like, <laughs> you don't even know what the fuck I was. I was like, what the fuck is dwarfism? Let me actually get the um, definition for you guys. But basically I found out that it means, I didn't even know that was a word, dwarfism. Like since when is that a word? Since when is that a word ever? Like I have never heard that word ever. Dwarfism is a sort, short stature that results from a genetic or medical condition. Dwarfism is generally defined as an adult height of four foot ten. The average adult height among people with dwarfism is four feet. So basically short, basically short adults. So basically, T to a dwarfism is made fun of, of course, because kids are assholes and people in general are assholes. Be instantly regretted as always. This is 13 minutes long. I assume it's gonna be students. It looks like it's a student right here. It looks like she's in her classroom teaching. But again, if you're short, who cares? Like you're short, big whoop. Like I consider myself short and I'm like 5'8 and I consider that short, so. Anyways, yeah, I mean, there's no need for bullying. Bullying does not end up in anything good. I don't know if you guys heard about the school shooting in Michigan, but I heard that that kid was bullied. So obviously bullying does not lead to anything good. It could lead to somebody wanting to shoot up their school. So don't do it. There's no need for it. And there's just no point. It's not going to do anything good for anybody. But yeah, let's go, guys. So first, you multiply the 10 by the 2. That gives you 20. Are you guys even paying attention? Clearly not. This is so boring. Like, who the hell does this? There's some other way we like, yeah, let's just play a bunch. Like, what? No, there isn't. So you better listen. Especially because you have assessment tests coming up. Next, <laughs> you subtract the... You know what? I can't take this anymore. You kids don't listen. Your test scores are the worst in the school. And you keep breaking all the rules. Where are you she, going? she just dipped. I didn't sign up for this. I'm leaving. Good luck with your next teacher. Damn, she just totally dipped. She's like, you know what? I'm leaving. I'm, I don't care. I'm not coming back. As you all may have heard by now, Mrs. Jacobs quit yesterday. Well, who could blame her? Her students are the most problematic ones in the school. They've already gone through three different teachers. We wouldn't even last more than a week with them. That's true. But we need to do something. Because if these kids don't pass their assessment tests, it is not going to be good. Besides, the board is already talking about taking drastic measures. Like, like what? How What's that mean? Smart? They replaced half their teachers. Really? I can't afford to lose my job. We need these kids to pass. That is going to take a miracle. Why are they so bad at bad in the first place? Like learn. Like, I don't know, make fun make learning fun. I'm excited to say that we found one. I just hired someone that's not only smart, she's hardworking, patient, and a little person. Ah, hello. <laughs> Everyone. Please welcome Miss Brooks. She is your new teacher. What's the issue? Oh God, here comes the Karen. We're all in danger of losing our jobs, and you decide to hire her? Yes. Miss Brooks is a highly qualified teacher with an impeccable record. Well, what does height have to do with anything? What does height have to do with anything? They may as well just come and Fire us all now. I am so sorry about that. Sally's been here a long time and she's not always very open minded. Oh, I can tell. It's okay. To be honest, that's not the first time I've received that type of reaction. I see. How about I introduce you to your new class? Sounds great. Oh, but I have to warn you. I have a, let's just say, unique way of teaching. Oh, uh, that, that should be fine. Uh, besides, I doubt that things could get any worse. <laughs> Shall we? <clears throat> yeah, but now they're just gonna, uh, gonna, I'm gonna be worse kids. They're gonna see her and be like... Hello, class. someone new starting today. Please welcome Miss Brooks. Hello! <sighs> <laughs> I 
freaking reaction. A student or a teacher. <laughs> hey, settle down. She's your new teacher. So you'd better all do what she says. Yeah. Yeah, you bitches. Hi everyone, I'm so excited to meet you all. Why are you so short? <laughs> yeah. Oh I'm even taller than you. <laughs> You're right. Let's just say I'm unique. But being unique is a good thing. <sighs> not another board problem. That's not what we're going to do. But since you're so tall, would you mind erasing this for me? So what are we going to do? <sighs> Here, catch. Why are there numbers all over this? Wherever your thumbs land on the ball, you multiply those two numbers together. Now go. Oh, okay. Uh, nine times nine equals 81. Very good. Now hit it to someone else. Okay. Five times two equals 10. Yes. This is fun. Uh, three times seven is 21. You got it. Now hit it to someone else. What do you think you're doing? Uh, just teaching my class. Why? Well, it looked to me like you were playing volleyball during class time. Does the principal know about this? Oh no, but I'm sure she wouldn't mind. I like I, I literally told you guys that. It, make teaching fun. fun. That's what I said. Make it fun. That will never work. It already is working. Me, I have the highest performing students in this school. Let me give you a piece of advice. Stick with a traditional way, and then maybe. How would you mind your business, you little biatch? Does that mean we have to stop playing? No. Not at all. Are you going to put your purse down? Yes! Yes! Let's go! Oh, they're going outside. Okay. What are we doing here? So you got to make what teaching fun. I don't even know how to solve that problem. I when math got involved, I was like, I'm not fucking with this shit. Okay. X. Well, what the fuck is X? Job in jeopardy because of some 
new teacher's crazy ideas. You have got to tell her to stop. You really think this will work? I know it will. Well then, Carry on. we will give your unique way of teaching a try. And if that does not work, then we will talk again. <laughs> Fine. But I'm warning you, you are making a huge mistake. Shut up. This Karen, man. Thank you. You are so welcome. Have fun. L like I said, make learning okay, fun. Who wants to solve the next problem? Me, 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 me. Daisy continues her unique style of teaching, and all the students love it. <clears throat> See, I'm not uh, being time stupid goes either. On, she continues to play more learning games with her kids. They have so much fun but also learn a lot at the same time. Even though not everyone agrees with her style of teaching, oh my God. Daisy never lets that stop her. Before long, all of Daisy's students are volunteering in class and having so much fun. And then comes the day of the assessment test. Daisy passes the test out to all her students, hoping for the best. Uh-oh. I'm scared. A couple weeks later, everyone gets a big surprise. Next, let's discuss the upcoming holiday break. Wait, whatever happened to the assessment tests? I haven't heard anything yet, but from what I understand, the board will be coming by soon. Like, watch all this Karen, Sally's yeah, stu students all fail, and Sally's That's is going nice. to be great, or hers is going to be great. Can I have a moment with you, please? Uh, sure. Uh, I'll be right back. That didn't sound good. That didn't sound very good. Oh, this is so stressful. I didn't want to have to look for a new job. I tried to warn everyone. I knew this was going to happen. You guys are not going to believe this. What happened? Please don't tell me we're getting fired. Let me guess. None of Miss Brooks' students passed. All of them Tell passed. All of them got A's. Not only did they all pass, they scored higher on average than any other class in this school. Really? Wow, congratulations. That's amazing. How exciting. No, wait. You mean to tell me? That you mean to tell her students me that her students higher than mine? Yep. And because our like, school improved <laughs> like how I'm having a fucking panic attack? We are being officially recognized by the entire board. So, let's give a warm round of applause to Miss Daisy Brooks for her amazing work. I would talk louder, but... said in the beginning like like for me learning just in a board is not going to be fun like if you make it fun they can actually learn a lot more because fun like if you have fun and learn at the same time then it's like you're not being bored of it you're not just like putting your head down about to fall asleep about to pass out you're not throwing papers at everyone else you know what i mean like you're like you're engaged is someone calling me So honestly, it's just better to learn when you're having fun, um, just because then you're engaged, you're actually focusing on what's going on. So 
And even though you're learning, you're having fun while doing it, which can really help. I have never had anything like this, but honestly, I would not mind that. I, I feel like I would learn pretty well too, just because looking at a board can just make you tired. If you're engaged, you're basically active too. You're basically, like you're basically exercising, learning and having fun in one. So it's like three in one is perfect. Rather than you sitting in class, like drifting off, try, trying to try to focus on a board, you, you can't, it's, it's not fun. Kids like fun and, and if you engage everyone and then make it fun, then they might learn something. It, it, it may not work for everybody, but I feel like it would help a lot. Like I feel like it would definitely do something. You, you just have to, to find the right games to play, you know what I mean? So that teach was really good. I'm glad the kids learned to like her. <clears throat> and again, dwarfism, though I've never heard of the word, you're, you're, you're shorter, so what? Like the like the other girl, Sally, was like literally being like, how, like, like she was literally, literally, her mindset was basically like, how is she gonna teach anybody? She's short. That was, that was basically her mindset, which doesn't make any sense to me. Cause like what, you're short, the, that means you're stupid? Like that doesn't mean anything. You're short. Okay, you're taller than her. Does that make you smarter? No. So I don't know what the hell her po point was or what the hell she was going on, on about, but at, 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 at least she learned. <clears throat> I'm glad she learned. And I'm glad those kids were having fun learning. So, yeah. But if any teachers are watching this, I doubt it. But make learning fun if you guys can. It might help a lot. With that being said, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys do agree, agree with what I said by making learning fun, let me know in the comments below. Or if you disagree, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and comment down any uh, any suggestions you also may have. And yeah, that's really all there is to it. <laughs> all there is to that. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. And do this. <laughs>